Hey guys, it's Susan, and today I'm going to answer that burning question. How do you end a leather necklace? Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to end leather necklaces. It seems really complicated, but it really isn't. It's quite easy, and I'm going to show you three different ways to do it, and even a variation on one of those ways. So you guys should be super skilled by the time you get to the end of this video. And by the way, if you love these videos, don't forget to ring that bell so you can get notified when new ones come out every week. Okay, so I have a, a few different necklaces here that I'm going to show you guys how to end so you can really get a feel for what I'm talking about. So this is the first one, a real simple one. I'm going to show you how to put a leather end on there. And of course, you'll need some leather. This is a 1.5 millimeter leather, perfect perfect for just about any leather necklace. You'll need a little bit of wire a little later. This is 24 gauge and I'm going to use a button and a clasp and some leather enders. As far as tools are concerned, I want to make sure you guys have a chain nose plier and a flush cutter and that's about it. So this necklace here is really simple. You just put a large hole pearl right on your leather and tie a knot on either side and then you cut it to length. It's really probably one of the most popular necklaces out there right now. So my favorite way to end these and probably one of the most secure and easiest ways to end these is to use these little leather cramps. I know it's like a secret that you guys didn't know about, right? Leather cramps? What's that? Anyway, I'm going to show you. They're, they're super easy. All you have to do is take your leather and trim the end into a little bit of a point with your flush cutter. And yep, I'm just using my regular old flush cutter to do that and pop that end right on the end. And you want to make sure just a little bit of, it, bit of it, right there, just a little bit of it pops through so you can see that it's all the way through that leather crimp. And then if you see these two little lines right here, you're just going to take your chain nose plier and you're going to grab the leather crimp right on those two little lines right in the center and you're going to give it a squeeze. And I usually turn mine over and do the same thing from the other side. And then see how that kind of holds? And I've already trimmed this other side, so I'm just going to pop that on and do the exact same thing. I'm just going to squeeze and squeeze. Now, some people put a little bit of glue inside their leather crimps, but I have never found it necessary. It's impossible to get that off of there once you do it. And then I'm going to attach just a regular clasp, and I'm just using a lobster claw style clasp to attach here and a jump ring for the other side. You could put a toggle on there. You could do just about whatever you want to. So, all right, you just want to open up any jump ring, and I'm just using two pliers to do that. And you're going to pop your jump ring through, attach your clasp like so, and grab it again and twist it close, just like so. So that's one side, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. That's my closed ring, and there's my open ring. So I'm just going to take my two pliers and twist that open, run it through the clasp, and attach my closed jump ring, and then I'm going to twist that closed, just like so. And voila, I have a necklace that I can wear. And so you see, you could have also put an extender chain on that end if you wanted to, to make it longer or shorter. Um, but you don't have to, just whatever you want. And then you have a cute little leather necklace with a pearl on it that you can wear. So that's one way to end a leather necklace. Now, the, probably the most common question I get about how to end a leather necklace is, how do you make an adjustable sliding knot? so that you can lengthen or shorten your necklace. So I'm going to grab this necklace. This is one we did a video on, and it's just on a long piece of leather. See how long that is? Just kind of keeps going. But we wanted it to be adjustable, so you could pull it over your head and then shorten it if you wanted to. So to do that, you're going to take both ends of your leather, and you're going to overlap them, just like so. And then you are going to take one side of the leather and you're going to tie a knot and this is like the easiest thing in the whole world and you're going to you're not going to believe it when I show you but you just tie a knot around the cord like so and then pull the leather through and pull it tight and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side you're going to take this 
extra piece of leather that's coming right here and you're gonna wrap it all the way around the cord and then through. Just make sure you go through the opposite direction so it's pointing away. See, this one's pointing this way and this one's pointing this way, so it's pointing away from the other piece. And then that will pull closed. So you can make a fancier knot if you want to, but I usually just keep them simple because when it comes around on the side, I don't really want to see a lot of that knot. But that's all you have to do to make an adjustable knot on your leather necklace. So that's two ways to do it. And then the third way that I like quite a bit is, is called a wire bind. And I have got a necklace here that uh, my friend Katie made and I, she asked me to put a clasp on it, so I'm gonna do that style. Hopefully she's okay with that, because I didn't ask what style. But this is the wire bind right here. And this is just a simple lariat necklace, leather lariat necklace that Alicia and I made uh, a few weeks ago to wear. And so you can see right there, that is the wire bind. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do on this necklace. But this time, I'm going to attach a button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut Katie's necklace here in the center, so I have two pieces. And I'm gonna take my button, and I'm gonna pop that on just like so. There, so see I've got my leather overlapped and my button ready to go. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of wire. All right, so you don't need a lot, just about six inches. I'm just gonna pull about six inches of wire off of there and clip it. Now the most important thing about this wire bind is that you do not want a little piece of wire to poke you when you're wearing this. So I'm gonna start by putting the wire between the two pieces of leather, like so, because I'm gonna cut that off between the two pieces of leather. All right, and then I'm gonna wrap around the leather. One, two, three, and four times. And I'm gonna take my chain nose plier and kind of bring that all together a little bit so it looks a little bit neater. And then I'm going to pull that first piece down in between and trim that off. All right. So just pull that down. Let me just trim that up, or not trim that. Squeeze that together just a little bit, and then clip off that extra wire. And if it's still a little bit too long, we're just going to trim that down a little bit more, and use our chain nose plier to press that in, so that I never feel it again. And then on this other end. You're gonna do the same thing, but you're just gonna wrap around one piece of the leather. Like so. Okay, and then we will trim that off right between there. And one more, a little bit closer. You wanna make sure you don't have any little piece of wire sticking out. So just carefully just trim that down and then use your chain nose plier to press that in and up. And then you're just going to trim off the extra leather. And I usually trim it off pretty short, just like so, just to finish that off. See? And then on the other side, I'm gonna make a button loop to fit the button that I just put on there. So let me get some of this out of my way here. So I'm gonna do essentially the same thing as I did on that side, but I'm going to just make sure I get just enough leather so that I can put that over that button. So I folded it over, and I'm gonna take a little bit more 24 gauge wire. And starting between my two pieces, I'm going to Wrap. And this should be just a little bit easier to see because I don't have that button in the way. So one, two, and I like them to be tight like this. So if you can, it looks prettier if you get a good tight wrap. Three, four, 
And then, I see I like the way that looks. Then I'm going to trim off my extra wire. Same thing as before, just pull that down. And if you need to, you can use your chain nose plier to kind of pull that tight and in there. And then trim it off, nice and close. And then same thing on this side, I'm gonna wrap around just one piece of the leather. And once I'm happy, I'm gonna trim that off right between there. And let me squeeze it up just a bit. And so I probably need to trim that one just a little bit more because I see them sticking out just a little bit. So let me just get that pressed up. Feel it, nope, feels good. And then trim my leather. So this piece now just fits right over that button, like so. And I could have made that a little bit tighter on my buttonhole, but that'll work on a necklace, no problem. So really cute, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to end your leather necklaces, make lots of great leather jewelry. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with it. Uh, don't forget you're gonna need some 1.5 millimeter leather, and you'll also need some of those fantastic leather ends and just some basic 24 gauge wire and clasp to finish up these projects that you work on. Now you're also going to need some basic tools. Don't forget to have a flush cutter handy and also a pair or two of chain nose pliers. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys would like to pick up some supplies like the ones we work with today, check out the links down below. Which style necklace was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell and we'll see you again next time.